Okay, Professor, what's going on this week? All right, welcome back. Yes, uh, we we're going full speed ahead on Lady M. Um, last, last we updated you, we had the engine in and we were measuring up for what we're gonna do with exhaust was the big question. Um, forward engine mounts, uh, raw water plumbing, all those fun projects. We've come to some, some decisions on those. Uh, we pulled the motor back out. Um, so now we can get back in uh, and set down our new engine mounts. Um, should work out really nice. We just needed to come up about an inch of spacing. Um, so we're gonna be putting these G10 spacers and then we're going to, um, we're tapping 3 8 by 16 holes uh, for each of the engine mounts. I'm gonna have put a couple hanger bolts up in the forward ones because the aluminum plate in the stringer only runs not quite far enough. Um, so that's happening right now while the engine's out. Uh, Jacob's up there right now uh, trying to work out our bilge pumps. Um, we're, we're kicking around some ideas for installing. We're gonna have two bilge pumps. Two new pumps, two, thanks to Xylem. Two new bilge pumps, thanks to Xylem. Um, yeah, and we're gonna figure out one of them that we can have kind of remotely mounted so that it's not underneath the engine and you don't have to actually pull the engine to get to the pump. So, it's gonna be great for the future owner of the boat. Um, what else? Lots what, of stuff. What else? This looks expensive. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, so we're, you know, at our, at our excellent price from fisheries. We're 5,000 in so far this week. So no. It's Tuesday morning, by the way. Um, <laughs> wowza. Wowza. So, but that's what it takes. So we're going to do all new batteries. We've got these, these beautiful lifelines. Um, two Group 31s for house, single Group 31 for starting, and then two Group 27s for the thruster bank. Um, so those will go in the boat. It's going to be a beautiful installation. Um, all new raw water plumbing. Um, so that's what you see with this one inch hose. Uh, the previous motor had inch and a quarter inch. Plumbing, so we're going Re all repowers. Nothing's the same. Repowers. Even yeah. though it's Yanmar to Yanmar. Exactly. Um, including new gear oil cooler. So we got a new gear oil cooler. It's in the paint booth right now. Um, we're going to build a beautiful fuel uh, supply uh, manifold here. So um, here's the Yanmar primary filter. We're going to keep that, but we're going to add on an additional. So can primary. never have too clean a fuel with these common rail engines, especially uh, cleaner the better. So we're going to do primary. The Yanmar primary becomes our secondary, and then the one on engine will be our tertiary. So we're gonna be extra clean, marine rated, Raycor, beautiful. We'll put a new vacuum gauge in there. Vacuum gauge in that box. We're gonna install a vacuum gauge on this Raycor. What, what about this little guy? Look at this. This, yeah, I found these hanging around. So these are, these are um, good to go. A uh, little Walbro pump. So this will be our fuel priming pump. A little valve that will plumb in so that when you're doing fuel filter changes, you'll be able to just install these ones dry, flip a little momentary switch, purge out all the air, it'll be excellent. This is gonna be the best Ranger tug on the West it's Coast. It's gonna be the hottest Ranger tug out there. Um, putting in a, a vented loop for our raw water circuit, play it extra safe there. Yeah, um, it, was, it was marginal, so we're not gonna risk it. It was marginal, we're it. above waterline, but it's not that much above, so we wanna, we don't wanna flood this engine. Yeah. That's what, that's what happened to the $27, old one. $27,000, the old one was, yeah, we're yeah, not gonna exactly. risk it. Um, including, um, High-end exhaust, so this is, we only needed about a foot, but we could only buy it in three foot sections. Kind of upsetting, because it's like 70 bucks a foot. Um, but um, for our drop from our exhaust elbow to our water lift muffler, we'll have this. And built gonna, to last, right? To we last. don't want any extra pressure in that area. Exactly, so, so that's, that's gonna be our end to our exhaust, and then um, we'll use some three inch to go up to our rise connect in and then and then adapt to our four inch that's existing that takes it out the boat. So we'll have that up after the bend. Um, new zincs, what else do I have here? Lots of stuff. Well, we got uh, student Tim did the... Oh, student Tim, yeah, the control panel up in the front there. Um, we had to do some pretty serious wood butchery and modifications. So luckily we have Tim on board, um, took a new piece of uh, teak plywood and um, it's making a beautiful panel. It's gonna look really nice. Uh, adding what, exhaust temperature alarm? Exhaust temperature alarm's going in right now. Those guys ran the wiring for that. Um, again, new bilges, uh, new throttle. Ran all the cables, wiring harnesses for all that stuff, so it's full speed ahead. Crew's putting on the refurbed prop and coupler right now with new nuts. Um, gonna be awesome. Come May, hopefully, well, we're gonna see trial first part of May, have it for sale. Yep. Come check it out. We hope. Come check it out. It's gonna be it's gonna be a beauty. Thanks for the update. We'll keep them rolling every week. Yep. This, well, I don't want any more weeks that cost this much money though. No, I think I think this was our <laughs> big spending. We'll see. So till next time. Welcome to the Scallywags, located in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. 
where Skagit Valley College has been training technicians since 1968. If you are looking for industry certification and the skills to work in maritime, this is the place to visit. Our staff will share so much knowledge and experience, you will not be disappointed. The workforce demand is very high and all of our graduates are working around the world. If this sounds interesting to you, schedule a tour and come check us out.